do have Omar al Gabra, the Transport Minister, just finished that briefing and a vote in the House of Commons. Uh, Minister, good to have you uh, here on CTV News Channel. Can you tell us why, what finally prompted um, the ban on flights, both direct and indirect, from India and Pakistan, given the fact that the variant has already arrived? And the, the question is, is this just too late? You missed your opportunity. Uh, Evan, uh, thank you very much for giving me the chance to speak with you tonight. Look, um, our system of measures is working. What we have implemented since the beginning of last year, since the start of the pandemic, we added layers upon layers of restriction and protective measures to protect the health and safety of Canadians. And what we've said to Canadians all along is that we will stop at nothing to protect their health and that we're always going to be guided by data, health expert uh, uh, advice. So what we've seen, and by the way, uh, you will know this and your viewers will know this, we have the strictest measures at our borders today. We require people to be tested prior to uh, getting on a plane. We require people to be tested once they arrive. Then we require them to stay at a three-day hotel and, and wait for the test results upon arrival. And then they're asked to quarantine uh, or isolate at their home. So right. I want to make sure that you know and your viewers know that our borders are not porous. However, what we saw over the last few days, we've seen numbers, 50% of the infection rates that we caught through, through these measures were coming from India. And given the situation in India, and given the expert advice that the situation in India seems to be getting worse and worse, uh, we decided that we should add another layer. We are suspending uh, commercial flights, passenger flights from India and Pakistan for 30 days until we assess what to do next. Right. Sir, let me just fact check you respectfully. I know you said that your, measure, your measures are effective. Um, I spoke, talked to epidemiologist Colin Furness today, the doctor. He says, no, they're not. All the variants that are, have arrived here, South Africa, the UK, and uh, Brazil, have all come from flights and from travel. So they, A, they haven't worked. Two, I know you say there's strict measures, but there's lots of porous holes. Private jets can come in. People on private jets don't get the same screening. You can drive across the border without the quarantine. And finally, sir, just respectfully, Health Canada has data that shows in the last two weeks, 112 international flights have arrived in Canada with at least one or more case of COVID-19. Sir, 32 of those flights were from India, but there are flights from what? 20 from the United States, 10 from France, 10 from the United uh, Emirates. Why ban India and Pakistan? I understand. But why not other places that are literally also bringing in cases of positive COVID? I, mean, I really understand the anxiety that people are feeling and the anxiety that you're you're reflecting right now. But let me also, if you, with with all humility, I want to correct you on two things. Uh, private jets are are subjected to the same uh, strict measures. Board uh, border uh, crossers are subjected to the quarantine rules. So uh, uh, it, it's very important that we, uh, I, you know, we our your viewers know that. And the measures that we have, and it's very important for them to know. No, 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 sir, sir, sir. Let, let me correct. Sorry, if you drive across the border, you don't have to go to a hotel. You don't have to go to a quarantine hotel. I know you have to go home and quarantine. There's right. very little enforcement on that, but you don't have to go to a hotel to quarantine. Right. So uh, you said quarantine, and I wanted to set the record straight. Uh, you have to quarantine for 14, 14 days, and there are uh, enforcement mechanisms where we working with security. Uh, uh, bodies where they uh, randomly check on people. So there are measures. And by the way, those land border crossers are being tested as well. So uh, look, I challenge you to find any country in the world that has as strict measures as we do. Now, uh, well, one- Austra Well, to be fair, I, again, I listen, I'm not trying to pick holes. Australia and New Zealand force people to quarantine at government hotels for two weeks. In Canada, it's three days. Or, and you could, or pay a fine and just get through. So Australia and New Zealand, and we talked about this, they don't have land borders, they're an island. Uh, uh, there are 50,000 people of their citizens that are unable to go back home. So we can, I mean, we can, we can nitpick here, and it's important to have this debate. It's important for Canadians to see that we thought through all these options and that we're really doing what we need to do to protect their health and safety. So I appreciate these questions. I appreciate you challenging me, and I want to, give your viewers the response and why these decisions are so difficult and complicated, but we've never shied away from taking 
diff difficult decisions. So these measures are important uh, to protect Canadians. The infection rate that we're seeing from India and Pakistan is higher than any other country. So we decided that on top of the other layers to add, to suspend flights right now from India and Pakistan. And I just so to, and if you're not flying directly, indirectly, you could let's say land in the United States, but you'd have to get another test there. Is that right? That's correct. So you know we know that sometimes people might want to take uh, uh, indirect flights. Well, uh, those individuals have to get a test, have to get out of the airport wherever their last point of departure, get a test, a PCR test, and then to be allowed to get on a plane to come to Canada. Okay, the Minister of Transport, Omar Al-Gabra. Sir, I really appreciate you dropping by. I know you've got a lot going on. Uh, that is the Transport Minister on the new uh, rules just announced as of uh, tonight at about 11 p.m. Eastern time.